something that I've noticed on Patreon is uh, artists actually diversifying the type of value that they offer on their platforms. And so you might see an artist, even though he primarily raps, he'll also offer to write songs for one of their fo one of his followers or subscribers. He might offer to send them, you know, a, a birthday video or to hop on a Zoom call with them for X amount of dollars, so on and so forth. So uh, I'm not sure how frequently you'll see that with people kind of having their their own website and having ownership of their own paywall to offer those types of you know those types of different value to their yeah subscribers. i mean so one of the things that we do with our web design and management service mm -hmm. is that we set up those services for the artist a lot of times huh. the artist just doesn't set them up because it seems like a daunting task huh. and they wouldn't know where to start to set that up. Uh -huh. um, so mo like a lot of people just choose to go with the web design and management service because like we develop that for the artist. Uh -huh. All they have to do is just get um, you, all Patreon's doing, just setting you up an easy system to do that. Yeah. So for people who don't want to build a website and want to go that easier route, but you lose some of these benefits over here, yeah. like that option's there for you. Yeah. Uh, nobody's stopping anybody from building another Amazon. It's just Amazon has a ton of money and can crush their competition because yeah. they're better at optics. They're better at uh, strategy. They're mm -hmm. better at logistics. Mm -hmm. So what Patreon's doing, though, is not the same comparison as you know that small business to Amazon. Yeah, You setting up a website or having somebody set it up for you like our service is not crazy difficult. Mm -hmm. You do need a tiny bit of startup cash, but artists have to think more like investors mm -hmm. than, than artists when it comes to this subject. So you have to think five years down the line, which one of these is going to put me in a better position. Yeah. It's going to be me uh, having my own data Mm -hmm. from my website and using that data or is it going to be me giving all my data over to patreon mm -hmm. because you don't you like you don't own as much whenever you set it up that way yeah so yeah. setting up a writing service you what do you list you listed writing service um doing personalized videos yep. which is like cameo.com yeah all cameo.com is is a paywall and a brand name it's really not that hard to set up yeah um so having those services on your own website and building your own brand is more beneficial. Yeah. It, it, like you, you can get so far with Fiverr. Fiverr's fine. I have nothing against Fiverr. We do a lot of affiliate stuff for Fiverr, but, uh, in, in all honesty, it's going to benefit you more to have your own website. Whether you look at some of our training material online and you decide you want to follow us step by step and build it yourself, mm -hmm. uh, we'll try to link whatever we have in the show notes for that too or you want us to build it for you, like that's the best course of action for building your brand as an artist.